Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your What's Cracking reading. Not too much to catch up on again, um, just a reminder now that you can book direct through my website if you'd like a personal reading for me. I'm fully booked out this week, um, running into I think Tuesday next week now, um, but if you want a reading you can go to my website www.theaussiegoddess.com and you can book a reading there, pay for it, organise what you want, how you want it, etc. Um, I am a little busy at the moment because I've had to put time aside for other things going on in my life so it's just a matter of wading through this time until I get to the other side of it all um, but lots going on in my personal life not in a bad way just things happening um, we are out of lockdown now so it's nice to sort of have a little bit of freedom anyway um, but nothing much else to update you with really um, I won't be going live on YouTube today. I have tried to work around that, but I can't. Um, so I might see if I can go live either Thursday or Friday this week, depending on what's going on. Maybe Friday would be a possibility, but not able to go today. All right, we're going to use the Green Witch Tarot for your reading today. And let's see where we're going with that. Okay, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is making a lot of appearances the last few days and the Queen of Swords does represent Libra Gemini Aquarius energy. When I see a card come over and over again in different decks, I sort of feel that the universe is trying to bring your attention to the Queen of Swords. I feel that the Queen of Swords is talking here about really understanding how to wield your own sword. It's about understanding who you are, understanding how to speak up for yourself and really stay true to who you are. Have clarity around who you are and what you need to say or speak. Somebody said to me the other day, it's strange how the readings all seem to resonate. And I have people in a number of different situations, but the readings always resonate with different people. What we're seeing in the universe at the moment, sort of collectively, are a lot of things happening across a broad group of people. There are a lot of relationships coming to endings. There are a lot of new relationships starting up. There are a lot of sort of energies coming through that we're seeing group-wise, not just in one or two people. And I guess that I have that beautiful um, opportunity to work with different people, so I see what's happening. Um, but I feel like somehow or another with this Queen of Swords coming in quite a bit, there is this energy that we need to be really clear about what we want in life and the direction we're going in. If we are in relationships that don't serve us, then maybe it's time for us to decide that it's not the sort of relationship we want. If we're choosing to move into a new relationship, maybe we're deciding whether that person is right for us. But what I feel very strongly is that we're starting to understand how we sort of don't need to go with the flow sometimes. You know, sometimes we can stand up and say, this isn't what I want, I want to do this instead. And I feel like a lot of people are finding those strengths within them to be more, I almost want to say equal to other people rather than sort of standing back. I guess in the work that we do, we deal with a lot of empaths and I feel up until this point, a lot of us have, as empaths have probably tolerated situations because we didn't want to hurt people or we wanted to sort of do the right thing. But I feel like we're learning now that being an empath is not necessarily putting yourself under that sort of pressure. So a lot of people here, I feel like standing in their truth, really understanding how to bring what they want into their own lives. A lot of people manifesting their you know, own businesses, a lot of people manifesting their own directions, the people they want to spend their time with, whether that's family, friends, um, but definitely this feeling of going after what you want. Knight of Wands is here and I feel like the Knight of Wands for me is a card that really talks about following your, your passion. It's a card of taking action on what you feel very strongly about. Um, sometimes we get so busy with our day-to-day -day lives we forget the things we like to do and we often put those on hold for other people so i feel here with this sort of knight of wands energy it's about going after your passion and drive and doing what you want to do 
All right, so we have the Ten of Swords coming through. Okay, now I see what they're, they're saying here. The Ten of Swords is a completion of a cycle. And it sort of sounds much like what I've been talking about. I feel like for many people, they have been following the path they thought they were meant to follow. So for some people, um, they've been in careers for a long time that they didn't really choose. They've been in relationships that are toxic, but they felt that they had to stay in them. They are, you know, some people don't go to uni because they don't think they, you know, have the smarts to do that. So we've all been holding ourselves back from things that really we should have been grabbing with both hands and running with. The Ten of Swords tells me there's a completion of a cycle. And I feel like for many people, this cycle that we're completing is very much about understanding who we are, what we want in our lives, and how we're going to manifest that. And I speak to so many people who are, you know, not feeling confident or sort of self-assured enough to take leaps of faith and to go after what they want. Um, and so many people stay in situations because they can't really find their way out. You know, people who are in toxic relationships or relationships where people are controlling their behaviors. And I feel like we're seeing the end of this. We're seeing people stand up and saying, you know, it's not what I want. I'm really just not in the right place here. I'm not doing what I want to do. There is something missing. I feel like I'm sitting on a park bench looking at my life and thinking I want more this isn't enough for me anymore I'm not settling and we have a brand new start here see this ace of pentacles for me represents you know going after here what you want whether that is financial whether that is a satisfactory career whether it is retraining yourself whether you want to do something that other people have held you back from and that's the really hard part is because a lot of people are still allowing other people to control their lives and that's really coming to the forefront all right so we have the five of cups here this is the card of regret so you can't sit back you need to take on that knight of wands energy you can't sit back and look at your regrets but not do anything about it you know, you can't regret that you didn't take that course. You can't regret that you didn't go after that relationship. You can't regret that you weren't given that opportunity. Whatever it is for you, you can't be living your full life in a lifetime of regret. So, you know, for people who are sort of stuck in situations and not feeling like they can move forward, you can make up every excuse in the book, but actually you have everything you need. You always did. Um... And with this Five of Cups, I'm feeling like you're looking back at what you missed out on rather than focusing on what you could have in your future should you choose to go after it. Now, I'm a great believer in going after what your soul wants. I'm a great believer in, you know, picking up things and just having a go at them. I don't believe there is such a thing as failure. I only believe that you try something, it doesn't go the way you want it to, so you learn from that and you move forward. So you review, you don't fail. So when I see the Five of Cups, I think it's time for you here and Spirit is saying, you cannot live wallowing in your past regrets. You need to take up that sword and move forward. And whatever it means for you and whatever area of life we're talking about here, remember you have everything you need to go where you're going. You know, if you're in a negative job situation, a negative relationship, what you need to do is remember who the person was that you were before you moved into that. And once you can get into that sort of energy, that will show you that you really do have all the tools you need. All right, let's dive deeper. All right, four of cups, look, see, same energy, four of cups, five of cups. So I would think that you probably are a little bit wading in your past here, maybe looking back at things that didn't go right. The Four of Cups tells me that no matter what's offered to you at the moment, you just don't find satisfaction in this. There is something missing here that you're looking for in this energy. Wow, okay. <laughs> the Hermit card is a beautiful card. I just laughed because I just watched Harry Potter at like two o'clock this morning in hope I'd go back to sleep, but I didn't. Um, and I was just dumbledoring as I watched this. So what I feel like here is the universe is saying to you, right, if nothing else, if you are really bored and dissatisfied with what's going on in your life, if you are looking for more, whether that's love, whether it's career, life path, whatever it is for you, the only way to really understand 
how to move forward here is to go inside and look at your soul. What is it that you love to do? Are you doing what you love to do? Are you expressing yourself in a creative way? Because I feel like here that, you know, this holds the star. This lamp holds a star. And the star is your destiny. So I feel like here you need to go inside and start to understand. I take yourself away from everything that's in the world at the moment. Um, and move towards perhaps really looking at what your soul wants. What do you love doing? What do you what do you want to do with your life? Where do you see yourself in five years, ten years, twenty years? And work for that. Because there's something here that you're feeling unsatisfied by. You know what? I love that the Page of Pentacles has come out here. Because what that says to me is that the universe is trying to steer you in a direction so that you can take up some sort of opportunity that's coming for you here. All right. So we have the Ten of Wands. We're putting down some sort of burden here. Nine of Pentacles. How beautiful is that? Look. This is about putting down this burden and picking up your life where you need to be. Nine of Pentacles energy here. So the Nine of Pentacles is very fulfilled. This person is fulfilled with whatever they want in their life, whether that be marriage, commitment, career, life path. This person is fulfilled. They have enough financial support to do what they want to do. I wonder all the time, because people always say to me, you know, it's the worry about financial support, especially with a relationship or a job. You know, how do I move on without that? And I would say to you, how many times in your life did you feel that you couldn't do something financially and yet you still came through? Because sometimes we focus on what might happen rather than just allowing it to happen. So there is definitely this feeling here that you have enough to do what you want to do, but it's about putting down the burden first and moving forward. It's about choosing Look at that moving forward. All right, so we have the chariot card coming through here. We also have the two of wands. So there is definite movement down another pathway. Six of pentacles is beautiful here with temperance. All right, balance, balance, balance. You know, a lot of the time people make up sort of these reasons why they can't leave something or why they can't leave it behind and what spirit is saying here as long as you've chosen as long as you're focused on balancing yourself everything else will become second nature to you there's a brand new pathway opening up and i see with this chariot card forward movement now when we feel this energy and we want to move forward especially if we're in that nine of pentacles energy we feel unstoppable we feel like no matter what comes on our path we can face it. But it's all about being balanced in yourself because it's all about your attitude. So if you have this attitude of, I can't do this, I don't have enough resources, you're never going to get there because you're always going to have those sort of energies with you. But if you've got the attitude of, I can do this and I can bring in what I want and I can have the life I want, and you're in the attitude of gratitude, the universe is saying to you here, it's totally achievable for you. But you need to have this balance. The Six of Pentacles tells me you've got spiritual backing. So you've definitely got spirit on side with you here. It's like the universe is encouraging you to go after what you want. Why are you sitting back and just feeling this life of disappointment and regret when you have so many things on the other side of this waiting for you? Hmm, what a nice reading. All right, let's have a look and see what's going on. Take on the energy of the Queen of Swords. She speaks up for what she wants. She goes after what she wants. She knows how to use her sword. She cuts out things that no longer serve her. She does it from a logical perspective. So maybe here they're sort of saying to you, don't get into your emotions too much here. Maybe being in your emotional state, you will start thinking, what about the other person? What if I hurt them? Codependent energy. So you might sort of filter into that energy there. Okay, so we are being asked to sort of grab passion, go after things, go out and drive yourself forward, take up what you want here. There is an energy of putting down a past cycle here where you've not felt worthy or able or wanted to follow your own soul. Maybe you're thinking about everybody else rather than just staying where you are, rather than moving on. All right, because there's a feeling of disappointment. There's doom and gloom here. Like, I just have not achieved what I wanted to in life. 
And here we see this Ace of Pentacles, which says to me that no matter what, you've got a brand new start coming through here. And I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, it's almost like Spirit is tempting you here by saying there is a gift out there waiting for you. Go after it. Go after what you want. Chariot energy after that was really beautiful, though, because there's definitely like this feeling of, I know, packing up your kit bag and going on your way. Very full energy. Very, very much like the full energy. Take that leap of faith. Go after what you want. Don't sit back and look at your past and just look at the regrets and things you haven't got right. High Priestess, trust in your intuition. Queen of Cups, love yourself. Love yourself wholly, deeply and completely. And there's the Ace of Swords. What better clarification would you get for a reading? The High Priestess talks about our intuition. It's about trusting ourselves. Yes, you don't know what's coming, but it doesn't matter because no matter what comes your way in this energy, you can trust that you will always be able to deal with it. This level of self-love here, understanding no matter what, that you are always there for yourself, but trusting in this clarity, this truth. This is what the Queen of Swords is holding, this Ace of Truth having clarity, having direction, loving yourself in the way you need to and knowing that you have the power to address anything that comes your way. It's very beautiful energy. All right, let's read you an oracle card. Supernatural. Ooh, <laughs> otherworldly. Card 39. This is interesting energy coming through here. Maybe they're saying to trust in, trust in what you can't see. There are many things in the world that most people cannot explain away conveniently. That includes vampires. Like this beautiful silver-haired creature surrounded by flying fish as the sun breathes its last behind her. Before her is a surreal vision, and yet, there it is, real, yet unreal at the same time. And we are scientists, and we are doctors, and we teach, and we walk amongst you, and we hear so many times of what is said to be impossible, the hearing of thoughts, the moving of objects through energy, the knowing of events before they occur, the receiving of messages from the spirit realms, the ability to see colours around bodies, the ability to heal through touch, and I tell you, all these are not supernatural. They are natural. And when they are developed and worked upon and exercised and practiced with, they are considered super. You have these qualities. You have them in abundance and we can see them about you. It is your task now to develop them. Not to develop them without reason and intelligence, but to develop them and to celebrate your nature, your magnificent humanity, which has so much potential and which is so vital to all of us. You are supernatural. You are as magnificent as those who are in spirit. You are a divine creation. And it is now time for you to celebrate this, to embrace this and to become as strong in your extra senses as you are in others. Embrace yourself, human child, all of your magical, wondrous self. The blessing here says there are aspects to you that are divine and utterly connected to all cycles and aspects of nature. You now feel secure and safe in developing and expressing your intuitive gifts more than ever before. There you go, the card that clarified the reading. I will leave you with that. Thank you.